Hey, I'm Benjamin Martian. Welcome to Real Fake Blood Films. I want to show you how to make some super easy, super cheap fake blood. I'm also going to run you through a couple variations in opacities, consistencies, and some textures. So let's make some fake blood, some real fake blood. It's sticky, it's messy, it's classic, it's Caro syrup. Got this for $3. I also got this gallon here for about $13. And then you're gonna need some red food coloring. This bottle cost me about four bucks. And then you'll need the multi-pack smaller sizes. That was about $2.50. I highly recommend getting a bowl with some water and putting a rag in there, a washcloth, so you can keep washing the blood off your hands. So first pour the Caro syrup into your bowl and add the red food coloring, add a lot. Now the food coloring is gonna to tend to sit on the top, stir with a downward motion to really get it mixed in there good. Now blood is not just straight red, so you're gonna add a little bit of blue, just a drop, a little bit goes a long way. You can also add some green and some yellow. So I don't measure anything, I just don't think it's that fun, I'd rather just play with it a little bit. I think of it kinda of like mixing paints. You gotta make it fun. Measuring is not fun. I do recommend testing this on a white surface as you go along, just so you can get a good sense of the color, like a paper towel or an old t-shirt or something like that. Ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. If the blood beads up when you put it on your skin, add a little dish soap. I got this dish soap at the dollar store. Okay, so if you're down with that transparency, then you're done, that's cool. But um, real blood is not totally transparent like this. So I have a few additives that I'm gonna show you that will give it a little bit more opacity. I recommend using small amounts to play with the materials and test it out because you don't wanna ruin your whole batch of blood. So first up is cornstarch. I got this for about a buck 30. Mix it in really gradually so you don't get clumps. Next is cocoa powder, this is about $3. Cocoa powder is gonna make the blood a lot darker, so this is good for kind of old blood. And this is probably my favorite mixture. Chocolate syrup, got this at a dollar store. This you might have to add a little bit more to. It's also gonna make it darker. Yeah, look at that. Non-dairy creamer, I got this at a dollar store as well. This is gonna really cloud up the blood. It's actually kind of good for getting that stylized type blood. So gel blood is really good for like little detail and makeup application and stuff. So I'm gonna show you a few consistencies of gel. Gelatin is really great. I got this for $1.50. It's gonna give it, again, that kind of jelly coagulated look. This is hair gel I got at a dollar store. Uh, it gives you a different effect. It's not as malleable as the gelatin, but it definitely is worth giving a try and playing with. Toothpaste, I found this red gel toothpaste at a dollar store. And it's toothpaste, which means it's edible. Yummy. Petroleum jelly, got this for a dollar. This gives it kind of a coagulated jelly look. You'll definitely want to add some dish soap to this so it doesn't beat up on the skin. Flour, I got this bag for $2.50. It's actually kind of good for getting that stylized 80s Italian or like Herschel Gord Lewis type blood. As you go along, feel free to add in more food coloring if the additives are changing the color too much. So I have a few things that I want to show you that you can add to the blood to kind of plus the gross. Plus the gross. Toilet paper, got this at a dollar store. Tear it up, add it in there, and it looks awesome. Clumpy blood. Cotton balls, I got these at a dollar store. These are gonna create real nasty looking bloody masses that can tear up and clump together in super fun ways. Yeah. This clear glue is something I had around that I thought I'd try and I got kind of an interesting effect on it. I'm sure you can get it at a dollar store. It's interesting because it does kind of get chunky and jelly, um, but it seems to dry a little bit more than the others do. All right, that is a bloody buffet. That's all, all you can eat. All right, so obviously the goal is to keep the cost down, but try experimenting with different materials. I mean, that's kind of the fun of this whole thing is you can just grab anything and play with it and see what works. Just depends on what effect you're going for. I will be doing more DIY videos, so please let me know what you'd like to see me tackle, any kind of builds, effects, materials, filmmaking techniques. Make sure to check out the Real Fake Blood Films short films. Those come out once every month. Uh, there's also a making of video for each short, so make sure to check that out as well. Please subscribe, like, and share. Find me on social at Real Fake Blood. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Blech.